How's that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, okay. sweet. Oh, Done. Sweet. <laughs> Seeing our new models put on the garments for the first time was amazing. I mean, they, they'd really come to life. That was really good. Yeah! Right. Nice! Hi, <laughs> nice. oh, baby girl! It was really great seeing Alyssa. She's my girl. I based two of my pieces around her because I want her to open and close the show. Woo! Yay! She looked hot in the gold train dress. <laughs> it makes you so happy! Yay! Yay. It is a competition for them as well, so it's always nice to have someone who's like super enthusiastic about what you're doing. Get naked? Sure. I haven't seen Tori in ages, and I'm like, I hope she's maintained her uh, <laughs> figure. <laughs> Looks awesome. Gorgeous. I'm excited. <laughs> this is going to open like this lace dress, and these are like big bra so big shoulders for you. Okay. Open dramatic. Oh, it was good seeing Ashley again. I'm really excited for her to open and close the show. Oh, it's like really delicate. It was good to see her. We got it fit, and uh, I think she's going to do great. Designers with me are some very familiar faces. Eddie and Eric from L'Oreal Paris. Hello, designer. We are very happy to be here with you again. As you know, the winner of Project Runway Canada will win one portfolio photo shoot by L'Oreal Paris. Last season, Evan Bedell's portfolio shoot really showed his beautiful collection for fall 2008. Now, your photo shoot will include a photographer, a stylist, and of course, L'Oreal Paris makeup and hair team. So we'll see you upstairs. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Sunny. So how, how are you? you? Good. Really good. Do you have ideas for hair? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so I was thinking of doing that, that curl that I used to have, the little roll in the top. I wanted the hair to mimic the style that I've had throughout past challenges with my little curl mohawk. This will all be dry, brushed back. I like that a lot. Me too. A lot. Yeah. My collection yes. is inspired by 1930s Greta Garbo. Maybe just some very big curls here and then tucked it up. Almost like, like a faux bob. Like, yeah, but even shorter though. It'll look what, nice with a dress, but even with a collar. Yeah, I, I like that. Awesome. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you guys. Good luck. Makeup. I was thinking just something really beautiful, really clean looking, just not too dramatic because I really want the clothes to speak for themselves. That we could do is to put the gold here and I will going from gold to black. You know what, honestly, I'm kind of getting scared because like I said, I don't want it really dramatic though. It would be not dramatic at all. Well, you're saying black on the eyes. <laughs> you don't think so? Yeah, but it's a show. I just don't want big, heavy show makeup. I don't want to yeah, like, be like... I understand. We will blend the gold here, and we will go with uh, just one touch of black here. Yeah? Yeah, I'm seeing it now. Yeah, I like it. That looks yeah. great. Thanks, guys. Next, on Project Runway Canada. Good morning, designers. Meet us on the runway. We brought in some help. Oh, my God. <sighs> This morning at the Rosemont, we found a note, and it says that we're going to meet Amon and Brian on the runway. In this whole, like, Project Runway experience, there's always a little twist. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How did everything go with your model fittings? Perfect. Well, the fittings aren't over, because there is one more model that you need to fit. And it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> designers, meet Cheryl Hickey from ET Canada. Hello, designers. Hey. Hey. Cheryl Hickey is the host of Entertainment Tonight Canada. She goes to the Oscars. She does a lot of red carpet events. The amazing news is that Cheryl will be a model in each of your shows. The bad news is you haven't made her outfit yet. We got the curveball. Your challenge is to make an evening gown that Cheryl Hickey could wear to an ET Canada Studio Lounge event at the Toronto International Film Festival. Oh, Cheryl Hickey's awesome. That's cool. Just maybe I can make her a dress when I'm not trying to make my first collection for LG Fashion Week. It needs to be a cohesive part of your collection. But I'm going to tell you what works on me and what doesn't. I like strapless or one shoulder, perhaps. Flowy, sort of romantic. But what I don't like is anything super fitted. You have two days before Fashion Week to create this extra look. So, we brought in some help. Yeah. 
There it is. <laughs> Yay. None of us knew what was going on. It was just a very Project Runway moment. Oh my God. <laughs> Each of the finalists will get one of you to help them execute the final look. I think all of us freaked out a little bit, made us a little bit anxious. We will pull names from the button bag. And Jason, we will pull your helper first. Brandon. <laughs> hey, 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 Brandon's back. I feel like, you know, Brandon and I in the evening where we kind of have similar styles. Jason seemed really excited to have me on his team. I guess I didn't measure up on the show, but in real life, I'm pretty talented. Kind of big deal. Now, who will help Sunny? Jeff. Welcome back, Jeff. I like Jeffrey. I mean, he's really good at what he does, and I trust him. And finally, who will help Jessica? I don't think I prayed harder for anything than for Addie's name to get pulled out of that bag. Let's make that happen. Kim. <laughs> I didn't want to work with him. She had attacked me twice to my face. And now I've seen that there's just so much more that she said about me. Jessica's skirt looked like somebody vomited up some taffeta and was like, and there's a skirt. I just want Jessica and Addie to go home. <laughs> Did you think it was funny how they said your construction was perfect and it fit beautifully even though your model couldn't breathe? Because I thought that was funny. Designers, your helpers will meet you in the work group. Let's go, everyone. important thing I've ever done to have to do with someone that I really don't like. It's just really hard to hear someone say really hurtful things about you and then have to work with them. It's just really, it's really sucks. Finishing up the collection was one thing. I was already a little bit stressed out about that, given the time that we have. Now we have to do that, plus create something new. I just, I wish I'd gotten to choose who I wanted to work with. Hey, baby girl. I didn't know if Jessica was going to throw up or pass out. It wasn't a comfortable situation. I think she's probably pissed that she has to work with me. And I think that's understandable because of the circumstances. So, oh, this like is it. my my crap. <laughs> Very nice. Sunny's collection looks really good. Um, I think we'll be fine together. I'm not worried about it at all. I don't know what to put together for her. That's the thing, right? Like, I think at this point, to 